It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 2nd of April. Hey, this first week of April traditionally had some pretty wild weather around here, so let's get in there and see what's to come in the next few days. We'll check the uh, Skycam shots around the network. Obviously, no problems today with a sky like that. That's the uh, Fayette Skycam up in northwest Alabama. They are cloudless and warm with low 80s. Work our way down to the south. That's the uh, Demopolis Sky Cam in Marengo County. Got a field of cumulus clouds there. And let's keep on going south. How about the uh, Mobile Bay Sky Cam at the battleship USS Alabama? Look at those towering cumulus clouds lined up in the distance. And by golly, we've got some pretty strong storms not too far away from southwest Alabama. And there's the deal. We've got the upper low that's on the Arizona New Mexico border and a very well-defined MCV, a mesoscale convective vortex. Uh, is rotating through uh, Louisiana, kind of like the one we saw on the Gulf Coast this past weekend. And that's kicking up a fuss, as you'll see, to the west of the state. But again, around here, things are quiet. Those are temperatures at 2 o'clock, mostly low 80s on the board, not quite as warm as forecast. Uh, readings are between 80 and 83 at uh, 2 o'clock. And we'll stay in that range probably through uh, Thursday. But after that, we turn cooler by Friday in the Easter weekend. And around the nation, you see the surge of warm air moving up into Iowa and Nebraska. Uh, look at that 85-degree ring over Missouri, but it's pretty chilly out west. And even up in the northeast, it's cool. And there's a really sharp gradient over the Carolinas. Uh, at the time I'm doing this, Columbia, South Carolina is at 91. But you cross that boundary and you got uh, 50s and 60s over Virginia. But again, we'll stay warm for the next few days. There's the radar. Look at that radar lighting up like a Christmas tree. Goodness, that's the uh, radar coming out of Jackson. And that's that MCV producing uh, thunderstorms over Louisiana, southwest, and south Mississippi. We note that uh, uh, parallelogram there. That's a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Mississippi. In fact, there's a look at that box. That goes until 8 o'clock tonight. And locally, the guys in Jackson have extended that thing over uh, to the state line just below Meridian. Uh, for those storms. But the storms are moving north and not east, so they shouldn't affect us tonight. Here's a watch warning map around the nation. Look at the frost and freeze issues up in the northeast. It's amazing. You got 91 at Columbia, South Carolina. You just go up to the north of there, and they've got uh, frost issues tonight over parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and northern Virginia. Convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard slight risk. On the western Gulf Coast, includes all of Louisiana, north Texas, and points north. Tomorrow, slight risk over central and eastern Texas up into central Oklahoma. And again, surrounding that, there's this big 5% zone that includes all of Alabama. And the storms that do crank up tomorrow afternoon might produce some hail and gusty winds. And that's going to be the case really uh, through Thursday. Uh, there's the outlook on day three, which is Wednesday. Again, there's no formal risk here, just the low-end 5% probabilities, but wouldn't be shocked if we saw some storms with hail and gusty winds. And really the same thing on Thursday. Uh, tornado threat looks very low at this point. We'll keep an eye on it. Check the rain for the next five days. Valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. Rain amounts of about one inch here, and that sounds about right. But, of course, it's going to be variable uh, more than likely due to the uneven distribution of the storms let's check modeling this is the uh, 12z gfs valid at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon there's the upper low moving into the texas panhandle down below that be a warm day a highs in the uh, low and mid 80s with developing showers and storms more than likely tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening and those could pack a punch and like we talked about hail and gusty winds the main issue wednesday the upper low just kind of drifting northeast down below that, showers and storms again are possible. Maybe uh, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Thursday, the upper low is filling over Missouri. And down below that, again, we stay pretty wet and maybe stormy. So tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, all three days. Good chance of a few showers and storms. Severe weather possible. Main risk, hail and gusty winds. A low tornado threat. And then Friday, we begin to dry slot, and the thickness values are coming down. That would suggest we might want to consider a slight chance of a stray shower. I don't think so. More than likely, the day will be dry. And by golly, the GFS is printing a high of only 73 now. Hey, much cooler. And what about a beautiful Easter weekend? There's Saturday. Should be a cloudless sky. We'll start the day around 50. The cooler spots will be in the 40s. Highs in the middle 70s. And Easter Sunday looks great. Sunny with... Upper 70s, just gorgeous. And we note that front north of us 
that might bring some salaries on uh, Sunday to places like Little Rock and uh, Evansville and Cincinnati. Monday of next week, got a trough developing over eastern Canada, kind of nosing down into the eastern U.S., but not really extending this far south. And that would prevent any frost or freeze issues this weekend or early next week. And this is showing a little moisture trying to feed back in here on Monday, maybe suggesting some risk of a shower. But at this point, that looks awfully small. We'll check the end of the forecast, April 18th. Core of the westerlies a little north of here. Look at the snow potential if this is right. And, of course, this is just speculation here. it would be a whopper of a snowstorm over Minnesota if that's right. But around here, that would suggest relatively quiet weather. And, again, on this run, no sign of any major frost or freeze threat for the next 15 days. And, quite frankly, if we can make it 15 days, that should about wrap it up for that threat. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.